What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Best of British News. We're talking wrestling. My name is Tom. Um, this is my second interview tonight. My first one with Corey Johnson. Um, I'm here with Elliot. Jo- sorry, I, I, I say, I'm going to try and get your introduction right. So correct me if I'm wrong. All right. Okay. He would like me to remind you that his hairstyle is purposely streamlined and aero- deliberately. Don- Deliberately, sort of, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Deliberately streamlined aer- 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 aerodynamic. His beard is a, t- is a shock, ab- shock absorbing tactical masterpiece. Master cushion. Master, Master cushion. cushion, oh, okay. Then it's, um, the, um, he's like the alpha male or something oh, like no, that. Oh, that one is, it, it finishes with, and he will be celebrating tonight. Oh, of course, yeah. And he will be celebrating certain success at a night at a VIP club in a nightclub that you cannot get into. I think I got that right. That was right. Yeah. That close yeah. enough. I'm not going to do that. Okay, because that's so difficult to do. Why did you make that your? <laughs> uh, to be it wasn't actually me that made it. It was uh, it was Colin. Oh Colin yeah. Holmes, the announcer. Yeah. Um, so he just come to be one day, and it, it originally started with just the one like the first line. Yeah, the whole um, streamline thing. Yeah, yeah, and they did it the second time and. It, it was originally Alpha Mill instead yeah. of the Tactical Master Cushion. Oh, yeah. But then we switched it up because, to be fair, it, it is actually a thing in MMA, believe it or not. Like, people believe that beards, it does give a little bit of cushion. I'm just waiting until someone... Yeah, I, I know. I'm just waiting until someone gives me a jawbreaker. I'm just going to no-sell it. I'm like, Tactical Master And your cushion. jaw goes to shit, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, I'll, I'll be there, like, probably, like, jaw smashed off. But I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine. No-selling it, yeah. <laughs> but you, you got the announcement right, so I'm not Oh, well, that's that not one. too bad. Yeah, that, 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 that could have been much less after I absolutely butchered it in the um, actual announcement thing on Facebook. Oh, no, no. To be honest, I butchered it myself. The amount of shows I go to and people block and you write it down. Yeah. <laughs> I make so many mistakes in that. It's like, oh, I'm going to have to get Colin to just yeah. put some cards thing is, there's so many. There's so many different parts of it to remember. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, I remember um, Colin's so good with it. Like, he's a, you know, David Starr's entrance. Yeah. Oh, so God, all yeah. Of them, yeah. I remember he had to do, when I wrestled David, he had to do his announcement and mine. Yeah. Completely from memory as well. Oh, because of all I was, I was like, I can't even remember mine. How can you do this? And then 16 other nicknames for <laughs> Starr. It's impressive. It impressive. That is pretty, to be fair, it's, it's amazing he can remember without having to refer to some talk. Oh, yeah. Not only his, but yours as well. I mean, that, that, that's too... Fairly long introductions. Oh, they're not small, off. yeah. I know. <laughs> they're real tongues, aren't they? Though? Oh, they are. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the. Cause he knows that if he ever did, if, if he messed up, because in my character, I would hound him in there. Yeah, I would hound him. Uh, I don't. I, to be fair, I don't think he ever will. To be honest, no, no, no. Colin won't. Just, people have done it, or people have messed it up, and I've stopped him there and then yeah. in the ring. I'm not surprised they messed it up. There's about what? Let's see. There's about three separate bases you've got to cook. You've got to cook over the bold, the, bold, the aerodynamicness or yep. streamlineness, the beard, the nightclub, and occasionally the alpha male. So it, you've got yeah. four, you've got three, four things covered there. Well, so. They're not exactly small lines. They're not. They're not. Yeah. I mean, it's it, what? It's a good eight lines on like roll say, paper, say, It's so. a good three sentences per piece, isn't it? So yeah, oh, yeah. It means the short introduction. It, anyway, so it works so as well. The, the, it work, It does work. As well, yeah, it, the crowd really enjoyed that part. Yeah, so. I don't think Collins. Maybe the first time he did it, but since then there's never been a time where he's he said the whole thing yeah. without having to stop to let the crowd come in. So I'll be, the crowd will be chanting something that they'll I'll have to have a go oh, back yeah. to them. And there's never been a time where he's just said the whole thing in one go. <laughs> so it is great. Well, I mean that works in, in, into you very well because, because because of course your 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 gimmick is. <laughs> Getting people to piss off and taking the piss out of their hair, essentially. Oh, yeah. So it's really just. So um, I think sort of rubbing in your bold world, um, sort of really milking the fact that, you, that, that your your hairstyle. I'll, I'll say, you know, uh, <laughs> it does play very well to the crowd. The, the, the fans made made the gimmick for themselves because when uh, when I first started, it was like uh, I was doing a different gimmick in that, and I yeah. didn't really enjoy it too much. But the one thing that the crowd always from the from when I remember David, they were always bald upside down at some point. Yeah. So when it came when it came to deciding what to do for the gimmick, when my my trainer Marshall he just sat there and he was like, I think we need to do something about the about the bald head. Yeah. <laughs> like, the Ellie Jordan experience was already there because I'd, I'd started to say it in my matches before. Yeah. But the the funny thing, the, the whole streamlining our dynamic thing literally just came out of nowhere. Oh, I'd no. never said them two words together <laughs> ever in my life. And, and some little kid or something just trying to, no, oh, you, you, you're bald, you're bald. And I don't know why, but I was just like, it's not bald, it's streamlines in our dynamic. Yeah, and, and that since was then, it. <laughs> it was like, well, I mean, 
<laughs> even named me finish the streamlined aero driver. Oh yeah, like, we were trying. Can't get away from it. <coughs> Sorry. The no, hard chance runs at the moment. Uh, which I, um, I remember in the um, <coughs> in the uh, review of the Nothing But Messing show, I called it the just jumping DDT. Jumping and DDT. And right. absolutely hounded me on Twitter for that, didn't you? Oh, I did, yeah, I did. I remember <laughs> that. It said, oh, come on, you know, you know I will give you a streamlined aero DDT next time I was It's because I just love the name. I just, yeah. I just love this, the, the name of streamlined aero driver. I'm sorry, I said streamlined aero DDT, didn't you I? You did, yeah. I nearly <laughs> had you, you see what I mean? I nearly <laughs> hit it on you know, this <laughs> table then, yeah. If, 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 if you hit me on the there through the table, you're paying for my new laptop, by the way. <laughs> that, that, that's fair. That's, I'll, put, I'll put it on Valentino's expenses for me. Don't worry, <laughs> Don't worry be too pleased about that. Oh, we'll make it work somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. one to ask is... I know, obviously, obviously we, we have just discussed your the whole where, where the nickname came from. Mm-hmm. But then, where, how did that evolve into into your your the streamlined aero driver? How, how did that, how, how did you transition your bolt your streamlineness? So I'll try and oh, no, 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 it is for you, you can't really say. Um, yeah. To be honest, it's just when when I did, when I decided to use that that move as a finish because yeah. um, I don't know if I don't think there's that many. I know the move isn't unique, it's, it's a butterfly DDT, but the way yeah. I do it is, uh, no one really does the hesitation and things. Yeah. And then when I was thinking of a name for it, I think it might, I might have been with Colin again or something. Yeah. I mean, we just, Colin's been so good. Yeah, yeah. my, big, my biggest album <laughs> supporter. Um, but yeah, I would just say, you know what, streamlined aero driver, that just, when I'm, when I'm going on about saying I'm streamlined aero yeah. driver, it's just a cool little, cool little name to have on there. It yeah. is, yeah, the streamlined, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's. It, I mean that along with everything else. It's, it's a bit of a tongue twister. Oh it? yeah, well, I've got another one as well. I've got the uh, I've got the brain maker. The brain maker. So it's like like uh, a card will do the rain maker. Oh yeah. I do the same. Where I meet him with a headbutt instead of a clothesline. Oh right. Oh yeah. I, yeah, I think I've seen you do that a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have. Actually, <laughs> I haven't. I've, I haven't used it in a while. Yeah. Though. Um. But yeah, that that's another one that's just stemmed from the head as well. Yeah. No, the one thing that I can remember that is the sound of it. Is the oh, sound it's of nasty. Headbutt, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> just like it means it's, it's one of them where it hurts me. She probably just as much. Yeah, yeah. Just as much. Yeah. Her, fact, I, I, um, I know this is completely random, but the, the quote is relevant to this, right? Mm-hmm. There's a movie called um, Mall Cop, and it's um, Paul Blythe, actually. Paul yeah. Blythe, Mall Cop. And, yeah. and there's a scene in the uh, roof where he headbutts my guy, and he says, oh, no one means with a headbutt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> head was one of them things. Like, I mean, say it hurts them, it hurts you. Well, it hurts them, it hurts you just as much as it hurts them. It's, it's, if not more, it's the gamble. Yeah, it's yeah. a gamble. That is, is this going to hurt them more than it's hurting yeah, I think so, That's what you're, you're hoping for. Yeah, I think it's way way you hit it as well. If you do it on the chest, it's a bit more cushioned. Oh yeah. But if you do it on the head, then oh, it mean, fuck. me and David Saga, we we did <coughs> dub, double headbutt, so I headbutted oh, him God. as he headbutted me. Yeah. That that was uh, that was that was nerve wracking and stuff. Yeah, that, I think that, that they've got to be. <coughs> so I keep cleaning my throat. I got really no, good. I've, I've barely got through my matches this week. Oh, oh, my throat, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not eating a tour today. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I can't do shows planned. Yeah, yeah. I think I think with with, with headbutts, you've got to be absolutely. If you can hold back a little bit, then that's it, isn't it? Oh, that, that's the thing with, with any moving wrestling. If, if you hold back. It's really evident that you're holding back. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not saying everything you have to full on throw everything 100% as hard yeah, as you but, can. Yeah, but you can't hold back. Yeah. yeah, I think there are some things that when you hold back, it's you got to find the balance of you in between yeah, going for, between really going for it and not going for it, so that you actually can cuss yourself. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much it. Remember, I did. I, I gave someone a headbutt. He was only a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And I, the, the moved at the last second, so I got him like right on the shoulder. Oh, God. And I was there, and I was like, "Oh dear me! I've still got I've still got a load of match to go yet." As yeah. Well. I, say, I mean, I mean, Sean's quite a bony yeah, isn't Oh it? yeah. So, yeah. Headbutt, oh, Jesus Christ! It's not light. No, it's not. No, light. It doesn't. No, no. I think well, <laughs> better. Not as bad as no. Worse than the chest. Not as bad as the head. Oh yeah, I mean when you're hitting it with your head, head on head is gonna uh, head on head's worst. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather be kicked in the head, I suppose. Yeah, kicked in the head. Oh, I'd rather be kicked in. Not, be... not from Chantel, but I'd rather be kicked no, in the head. I am scared of Chantel. Wow, now. I'm scared of Chantel. I've, I've been in a couple of rumbles with her in that now, yeah. and in training, like, in trying she wants she wants me in that ring, and I want <laughs> part of me wants to. But then part of me's thinking, oh, I'd have to take a couple of weeks off. And yeah. Time in that. yeah. <laughs> Don't know if it's worth that. <laughs> See, the thing is that she does MMA as well as wrestling. Oh, so. well, she trains with the guys and things. Yeah. I've seen her in training before. She'll give someone a kick. They, that, that's them done. Like, they aren't finishing that drill. Yeah. They're oh, out of the ring. 
Yeah, I mean, I remember Shishige Mir kicking a kamikaze. Oh, uh, that was great, that was, yeah. You, you enjoyed that a lot, didn't you? I did, you I did. You enjoyed that was myself going, oh, I'd like to start. Um, you, you were in the uh, in the background of that, and I'm, 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 and <laughs> I'm I, on the phone, uh, yeah, so, yeah, and and I heard you go, oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just the sound, the sound that she makes, and that's brutal. I mean, the sound was damn because I'd wear my shirt. If I'd wear my shirt, that would have legitimately killed me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've had a heart attack. Yeah. My heart would have just stopped. <laughs> it just stopped. My yeah, heart would have stopped. Up, yeah. I, 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 that would have been it. You know, you know, my life would have, would have been there. You know, had, had, had a good run, but ended by 14, you'll kick me in the chest. There you go. There are worse ways to go out, I suppose. There are worse yeah, ways. Yeah, so yeah, go out to stream on Aero Driver. <laughs> Still, you have, you might still happen, might still happen. To be fair, the amount of chops and kicks I've taken, and body slams, and spears. Oh, yeah, the big, big, big moves aren't as bad as them, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening, I hope you know that. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. We've got to give the fans what they want. The fans... If you... If, 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 if you okay. comment on this video, no, okay. you want me to stream my nail or drive him, next time I see him, he won't know about it. But if you happen. like... Or dislike or comment, then that's you saying you don't want me to take a Gmail Aero Driver. No, or if you even more watch the video, then you're saying you don't want me to take a Gmail Aero Driver. I'll, I'll just do it anyway. I'll, ju- I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> There's going to be no getaway from this, is there? No. 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 me you're talking to. The Elliot Jones experience is a prick. So. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I just know the t shirt you're wearing the Elliot Jones experience. That is the. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got official merch out now. The streamlined aerodynamic experience. Yes. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Oh, it well, always is. Everything with, Everything the with you is a mouthful. It, it, well, yeah, I could make a joke there, but I'm, I'm going to be clean. <laughs> no, this show is not clean. No, no, it wasn't. I try to keep it like uncontroversial, but it's not clean in the sense. Oh, yeah. Not, you don't want to be politically correct in 2018, don't worry. Uh, well, no. Um, you see, the special snowflakes don't get to me at all. Oh. I call them that. That's what they're called, isn't it? No, that's, we, 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 wrestling's got to that point now where there's... Literally, like, online, there's just too many. Yeah. So, too many I think, snowflakes and things that get offended by oh, yeah. all I, tiny little things. And no, I think social media has both saved and ruined wrestling. Oh, 100%, yeah. I, I mean, think it's ruined it because people know the person, not the character now, and yeah. they base their experience on that, you know. Like, if I were to, to base... But well, when you're in the ring, off that, then I'll be cheering you because you're a nice guy. But mm. no, I'd be you because you know, because in the ring, you're a dickhead. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's such a, it's such a hard thing now to, just to like, to stay in character all the time yeah. on all social medias and everything like that. And I think, it means it's 2018. All the uh, fan, fans know that they know what's going on in there. Yeah. So I think that kind of helps at yeah. the same time. So there's very few people who can make fans believe they're an actual dick in real life. Oh yeah. Oh, um, oh man. Yeah. But that's the thing, I take pride on the fact that where a lot of people look at my character and think this guy's a massive dickhead. He is. Yeah. The character's a But it's entertaining, yeah. 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 It's, it's an entertaining level of dickhead. Like, and one thing, I'll never I'll never start on someone. They'll, they'll have to say something to me first for, me, for yeah. me to retaliate. I mean, to be fair, that's not difficult with you because you know, because as soon as your music hits, well, yeah, as soon as, as your character, you just bombarded by Baldi upside down head fans are bullies yeah. they are all just bullies <laughs> they, like you say the it's... first time they, they, they seen me they, they didn't even know if I was a good guy or about like, yeah. they, they didn't know who I was but they're still berating me about the way I look <laughs> and he's like it can't show because they'll they'll boo they'll boo the bad guy for screwing over the, the good guy things and doing yeah. nasty things to him yeah, they're sitting there shouting, oh, you're bored, taking the mick out of the way you're looking at it. Yeah. It's like, you're, you're no better than me. Yeah. You're yeah. no better than me. I think that it's a, it's a thing of of when you're an established heel, then there's not being really an issue with it. because. Mm. But when you're not sort of, when they've seen you for the first time, they don't know what you're doing and they then come out with that. Then, oh, yeah. You know, it's essentially, you can't, I mean, that's on them at that point, isn't that, it? That, that, that's it, that yeah. That's on them. I think I did it once, I was in so much and I shouted, um, I was like, oh, you're all just bullying me because the way I look. Yeah. I was like, how oh, about you all stop being bullies? Yeah. Be, be a star, don't be a bully. Yeah. I, play on, I, was, quite, I was quite happy with that little pop, but... They are all wrestling We've fans. Got Johnson bullies. just skulking round the back. Oh, oh yeah. Got, I didn't mean fuck Elliot Jordan in my interview, I'm only joking. I think he's a very talented, very shiny individual. She has the best hairline in British wrestling. Tom, what hairline? You do a cracking job. Stay in your car parks, bro. Oh, fun, fun, fun little. <laughs> 
fun little fact. <laughs> me and uh, me and Kane actually had a one time one time only tag appearance. Oh yeah. And I thought our name was the the best tag name in in wrestling history. Oh uh, yeah. We uh we named ourselves after a uh, song from a recent Kanye West album. Oh my god, I really hate it. We are <laughs> black skinhead. Oh yeah. <laughs> one time only. Hopefully again in the future there is merchandise in that. Don't leave me hanging, bro. Don't leave me hanging, bro. Well, listen, back, back to Eddie back. Jordan experience interview. <laughs> We the funny thing we we wanted the show we were on to do that was actually Wolf Run. It was in a church. Yeah. So Colin, oh, yeah. Colin wouldn't announce us as black as black skin. Oh yeah. Like, no no. <laughs> oh, oh, so it's... I just went out. A church would be the best place to do that, wouldn't we? Oh no, we didn't even matter. I went out and I just went. We are black skin and as loud as I could. Anyway, it didn't really. <laughs> yeah, man. The, the first time I wrestled there, I didn't realize it was a church at first. Oh, and I was like, oh god, the like, hell no! Like all the uh, all the blasphemy. Blaspheming like that, and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm in the church. Probably gonna go to hell now." <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was fun. Uh, I don't buy into any of that stuff, to be honest. Oh god, that's all right then. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, right. What I do know is that you were recently crowned the first ever November Wrestling British Champion, weren't you? That was. I was. That, 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 that was either last night or Friday. Is there... Friday. Friday, okay. Creative, I had nothing else for anyone else. This is a nothing but wrestling promoter right here in case you didn't one know. Of three, one of three, one of three. One of three. This oh, yeah. won, the, won the belt on Friday. It was a 30-man Raw Rumble. Yeah. And I was very, very tactically, very tactically sound. <laughs> because... So, but what I'm going to assume that means is that you, you entered and then you sat in the crowd and then... Well, no, actually, <laughs> no. I mean, I entered with the full, full intention of outlasting 29 oh, other okay, guys. yeah. And I mean, Marshall X came you out. Gone to the bottom rope. That's it. Marshall X came out. Me and him had a little brawl. He yeah. threw a frisbee into my dick for the second time of the night. So I thought, you know what? Screw this. I'll go under the ring. Hey, Steve. So I went under the ring. Waited yeah. until the, there was only one person left in, and I came up behind him and hit him. Threw him out. Won the rumble. All the crowd were chanting, "Are oh, you cheating? You cheating?" <laughs> there was there was no cheating. There Thing was no is, rules. Yeah, exactly. that, that, I mean, I mean that. That, that's that's what gets me a lot. Right, is when. Is when people say, or you know, in no DQ, in in say no no DQ matches, you know, or, or triple threat matches, no no DQ matches. Well, again. triple threat is no yeah. DQ, but when, when fans don't realise yeah. the rules, yeah, oh, yeah, hundred percent. And then when the heel goes hit, hit the face with the chair or something along those lines, and oh they, yeah, they jump shit and thinking, no, it's called it's, it's no DQ for a it's reason. It's no DQ. Yeah. The reason is there are no rules. It'd be cheating if that was. If it was a DQ match and you didn't get caught doing that, that'd be cheating. Oh yeah. But if it's no DQ match, it's anything goes. It's no DQ, you come out with this steel check. Perfect. I mean, I, mean, legal, I, mean yeah. like, um, I think it was um, Ryan Parrot, uh, who I'm sure you know. Oh, I do know of the Parrot. Yes. You know the Parrot. Yes. Yeah, you know, kill the Parrot thing. <laughs> kill the Parrot. Yeah. Um, he, I think it was um, like a week or so after Millie lost the Unfist Women's uh, Championship in a no DQ match. Um, I was, of course, going the whole like you know you cheat you cheat mm. sort of thing, even though obviously she didn't. Um, and Power basically said, "Mate, in theory, uh, um, um, Melanie could have hit uh, with a car." No, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> someone should do that. You no know, DQ match. Who needs to? I'll pay chairs? you to do that. Oh, you're not DQ match. I'll just you come know, with I'll a car. You. I will lend you my car and you can go and... To be fair, last time I was in an old EQ match, I ended up brawling in the snow outside. So, <laughs> like, God, that was... That'd be one of the best and worst things ever. I'll tell you what, I've... Thumbtacks, I got DDT through thumbtacks in that match. Oh, my God. I kicked out, though. Uh, oh De- Death Valley driver through thumbtacks. Did- didn't kick out of that. <laughs> Steel chairs. What else did we do? Uh, Kendo six through in there. The worst was going through going through that snow. As soon as, as soon as I hit the deck, I could yeah. breathe. I'm gasping for air, and then I had Valentino kicking snow over me, <laughs> and then Dave Scott Preston was there kicking snow over me. <laughs> I would have loved to have got up and just battered him, but I couldn't. Uh, so instead, I just got up, threw a snowball at uh, Clint Margeri while I was wrestling. Yeah. I actually missed and hit Joel Allen in the face <laughs> with one who was the ref as well. So that made him into more of a snowball fight than the wrestling match, didn't it? Yeah, yeah the, the, re- the wrestling match is over into a snowball fight on the outside. Oh, I got the brilliant. upper hand, as, a, as you'd expect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I that was so much there. fun, though. I would have given everything to be there for that, to be it honest. Was, it was a lot of fun, though. That was a lot of fun match. That does sound like it, yeah. Right, we've been told that we need to... Uh... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> 
Well, I'll tell you, if you want, we could just call this part one. Oh, that's me, we'll yeah. We'll do a part two. So, yeah, but we'll, yeah, we'll uh, call it part one because he's going to give you a bit, Willie. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is part one. I am the Elliot Jordan Experience. Finish this off, Tom. <laughs> Love life. Watch wrestling. It's amazing. All right, so we'll just quickly, we will just quickly finish this off. Oh, All right, so we'll wrap up properly. All right, so before we end, you're, I know you're on social media, aren't you? you on, uh, I am. Um, yeah. Check me out on Instagram, the Elliot Jordan Experience. Uh, just one one word, double L, double T. Instagram, uh, Twitter, Elliot Jordan XP. See, so he's been a twat over there. Just oh, <laughs> on Facebook, I've been operating off my personal Facebook for a while, but I am getting my page sorted. Okay. So like me on Facebook as well, the Elliot Jordan Experience. Okay, What's so that's that? Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Facebook are sorted. And, um, my, so um, those things are all being tipped anyway, so even if you can't remember those, which you should do, because this is a video, so if you can't remember, just watch it again. <laughs> Re- that little bit at the bottom here, just yeah. rewind yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say to just, just uh, uh, let's see, we're so... 21 minutes, okay, so go back to about 18-ish minutes and you should be around that mark. So, anyway, those things will be in there. My links will be in the description as well. This is a part one. We will carry this on at some point because well. 20 minutes is, is obviously, but there's more we can talk about. Oh, yeah, we, we, can, we can go into some. We can have a good laugh. I we think. can, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Elliot, thank you very much for joining me. I do no, appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. No, right. I'm going to hit him with a streamline now we're driving now. <sighs> I'm not. you got to wait for part two. Part two, streamline now we're driving. No, that'll be part three. That'll ah. be in the post credits of part three. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, fine, yeah. So yeah, those will be there, mine will be there. Um we'll be doing this again at some point, but until then, peace. What is going on guys? Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and enable notifications. And if you want to see more videos like the one you just watched then make sure you click on the playlist linked somewhere in this general region, I believe.